What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So last time we got ourselves the old dust badge or whatever uh, that dude gave us. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, we didn't kill anybody, which is great. And uh, Happy is super high level. We should probably switch this thing out for a little while. Happy and Ghost are looking pretty nice. Um, let's let's nick let's let's nick let's nick the snake in front, and then we can uh, hopefully not run into more ground types because I think we're pretty much done with this city, which is great. So we're just gonna exit on out of here, and uh, it's a beautiful day. So you know the sandstorm in this place actually seems really sporadic. Like I feel like I'm gonna go into this Poke Center, and by the time I come out, it's gonna be a full blown ass sandstorm out there. But let's get a nice little heal going. Um, the one thing I do need to do before we exit this city is we actually got the fossil from that cave last episode. So we should probably revive that. I think the fossil guy is this house. For some reason, if I, yeah, this looks like he's a scientist guy. Hello. I'm a scientist. Yep, yeah, you sure are. I can turn fossils into living, breathing Pokemon. Do you have a fossil for me to revive? I sure do. I have a plate fossil. So um, this could be cool want to come back later maybe we just exit like and just go right back in like you do in cinnabar where have you been i finished reviving your fossil it was stegron like i thought i have no room left so we got a stegron i, I figured we probably see now sandstorm's back i figured we probably needed to deposit somebody so let's go ahead and see what this here stegron's all about i don't know if does it come at level 20 i'm not really sure but it could be kind of cool to uh see what that thing's about I think for now let's um I think let's let's deposit our buddy Charlotte. Unfortunately Charlotte's kind of I mean I do I do like this little fire guy. Biggles is super low level, but I think Biggles has potential. Let's I mean I don't know what this new thing is, but it could be cool. Let's actually give the EXP share to Biggles because you're pretty low level to be battling on his own, so we'll let's get you a couple Get you a couple levels of that EXP share, and uh, let's go see what this fossil is. I'm surprised I remembered which, because I looked this up, but I'm surprised I remember which house it was. This guy looks pissed off, though. All right, so we got ourselves a Stegron, and we'll give you a nickname. So I don't really know what this thing looks like. Oh my god, he's adorable, though. Um, let's name this thing. I guess we're just going to continue the theme of naming it after a TV series. We're going to name it Dart. Um, that is a reference to Stranger Things. I don't know why, I just figured it kind of looked like that. This is our level 20 dart, and he's actually freaking adorable. Okay, so he's... Look at this dinosaur boy. That's actually a really cool fossil mod. This thing's... I like this better than a lot of the actual fossil Pokemon. It has Volt Absorb, which is awesome. It is Rock and Steel type, which is a pretty damn good typing. It comes with Metal Claw, Agent Power, Screech, and Iron Defense. Yo, so this thing is awesome. I think that might be a good switch for Charlotte. We could at least... Uh, leave Charlotte in the box and come back to that thing later if we decide to end up using it. But I think I'd rather go with the rock steel type for now. It will actually help us out with um, the my rival's freaking starter Pokemon, which we have some trouble with. But I think we should be okay now because we do have a couple of solid ice types. So, okay, we're just going to leave Snake in front and let's just continue up here north. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. You think you're an expert? Okay, let me see your Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes, your Pokemon are in good shape. Here, take this. And we get an expert belt. Nice. So that's an item that increases uh, the damage done by super effective moves. Isn't this awesome? It sure is. It's actually a cool item in competitive mons because a lot of the time you can put it on something and kind of bluff the fact that it would be like a choice scarf or a choice specs or... Um, just because you don't see any recoil from it. So it's kind of like a, it's a sneaky item. Not so... I mean, it's decent for... Playthrough, but all right, bug catcher carry here's got a scrabble. Holy shit, we have not seen this thing yet, and that is a pretty damn cool looking bug type. It's level 25, and uh, the rest of our team, other than happy, is pretty low level. Lightning strike actually just knocks it out in one hit, though. Hot damn. Next is another scrabble, so these things got to be pretty damn weak. Or snake is just OP. I don't know when we evolve with this thing, it's probably not for a while, to be honest. And we get a crit that time, so. You just got destroyed, boy. Biggles grows to level 22, so I think we should probably focus on training up Biggles before. I mean, Biggles is kind of grandfathered in. He's been hanging out on the team for a while, but Dart is a new boy, so we're going to have to wait. I'll probably do some grinding on that eventually. But we are, in fact, in a new area, so we can actually catch the first thing we come across. Um, I only have 15 Great Ball. I mean, I have a decent I have Ultra Balls, too. I forgot I got Ultra Balls. We're good. 
Alright, so let's see what we can find in this grass. First encounter is... One of these goal kids. Okay, so nothing new. Unfortunately, but... We might as well catch this thing. Let's, um... Let's fever it. It's gonna protect. Okay, I think... What type is this thing? Is it just raw? Is it... I have no idea. It's definitely rock type, but we'll go for a fever here. It's gonna bide. Oh, jeez. Can we get a burn? Not very effective. We do get the burn. Okay, so got a couple chances to catch this thing. It, it is kind of annoying, but we should be able to get it with an ultra ball. Come here, buddy. We could go for a love ball, but you don't fit. You don't fit too well for the love ball, buddy. We'll just toss an ultra at you and see what happens. All right. So, of course we get it. Nice and easy. And uh, that's a cool one to have just for a little bit of a little storage. Gold Kid are ancient Pokemon created as helpers. Throughout centuries, it has always assisted people in building constructions that were too big for human hands. So, uh... That's pretty cool. What the hell do I nickname Gold Kid? I don't have anything that really comes off the top of my head. You know what? Here's what we're gonna, we're gonna name you Pebble, buddy. Young Fruity Pebble. Alright. So, we got a Gold Kid. Watch. Now, I guarantee we're gonna find something in this grass that would've been amazing to catch. But we got a goal kid, which is something, I mean, might not be bad, but it's just something we've seen before. Fall Rock Valley is the best place to train my skills. Want to see him? I sure do, guy. Let's see him, buddy. So Corbin here has a weak kid. What the hell is this clown-looking-ass thing? It's level 26. Um, don't know. I mean, it's obviously got to be a fighting type because he's a freaking karate guy. So, you know what? We're just going to lightning strike you. Why does everything use protect? What is the big deal with that? I, I don't understand. Wear protection, kids. Seems to be pretty popular these days in the old solar light and lunar dark. Lightning strike actually knocks it out in one hit, too. Snake is OP, man. We, what is my special attack stat? This thing is a monster. Just one hit KO and everything like it's its damn job. What are we working with here? Oh, it's because we have the magnet as well. We also have a 50 special attack stat, which is pretty damn good. And then lightning strike is 75, so decent. Um, also, we're going to switch happy with put Dracula there, just because I think... Oh, okay, I thought it was a double battle for a second. I did not look clear enough, but it's our freaking rival hanging out. What are y'all doing? Please, please help me find those thieves. I'll do the best I can, I promise. Okay, we totally are going to get back into the, the bad guy story. What's happening here? Aiden, thank goodness you're here. We need your help. This little girl hero set girl, 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 girl hero says it says a dark uniform stole her Pokemon and took off into a dark, dark cave. I don't know how to read. This is terrible. We need to get her Pokemon back. I don't know what the hell just happened to me, but <laughs> I miss them so much. I'm scared. Went into that cave, Hayden. We should team up and find those thieves and get the Pokemon back. Follow me to the cave entrance. All sorts of caves lately. Went into a cave last time. Going into a cave this time. But it looks like we're gonna have to whip some uh, some bad team ass. Are you ready to team up with me? Hell yeah. Does that mean? So we're out here with Kira. Does that mean that we actually get to fight alongside you? Do you heal? Wait, did she just say that she heals me? Like inside of her. That was weird. She's not too good at following. It's, yeah, you can't. Well, <laughs> I don't like that. It's not. You can't really talk to her. But okay. So look at this Cyrus looking guy. Hello. Who are you brats? Shouldn't mess with Team Lunar. So we're back to Team Lunar. I think last time we saw Team Solar. So these are the dark guys. Got a Widox and a Bayo Pup. Nice. I actually honestly forgot that Charlotte's name is Widox. Holy shit, she's got an evolved form Pixwee. That's what she's working with. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's just lightning strike the Bale Pup. And we'll see what this Pixley goes for. Actually, I should have gone it on the on the Widox because I think I think it's a dark type, so Pixel Pixelily would have been good against that thing. Jesus. Took damage there. I'm sorry, I attacked the wrong damn thing. Fairy Wind does absolutely nothing to Widox. Yeah, I, I definitely attacked attacked the wrong thing but that's okay she does actually heal herself i think after every battle so we good we good and yep that poison fang's gonna kill it <laughs> which sucks for her because it literally little does she know this is a nuzlocke for her too now she's got her nimblo out i think actually has drizzle which is interesting we'll go for one more lightning strike take care of the old spider fireworks biggles trying to learn fireworks holy shit okay so that's a new move what the hell is this? Okay, 70 power user shoots exploding fireballs into the sky. Move is super effective on flying. Ooh, that's actually a super cool move. I like that a lot. Uh, so we have Flame Burst, which is actually still really good as well. 
Um, hone claws doesn't really seem all that necessary because I mean, fuck chip away. I guess ain't nobody. We don't. We really don't need a normal move since we have access to better fire moves. So that's fine. We also have bulldoze. Oh, it's happening, boys! Snake is evolving. We finally get to see what this thing turns into. I'm fired up. Oh my Jesus! Yes, it's gonna be a viper thing. I had no idea this thing was about to evolve, but this is fucking sweet. Yes! Oh my god, that looks amazing. We evolved into Cabolta. Dude, I got like the best encounter on the route that I got this thing. Wants to learn Scary Face. So this thing's just basically a way cooler Arbok. Um, no, we can actually hit A. We do, we do want to give up on learning Scary Face. Ain't nobody got time for that, but yo! Uh-oh. I better inform the commander. Okay, so we gotta leave our Cobra, or our new thing in front. The commander, maybe we should follow him. So, yep, we gotta follow him. No hidden item there, unfortunately. But let's see what these shenanigans are down this way. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? What are you two doing in this cave? Don't get in the way of Team Lunar. Oh, I'm getting in the way with my super cool ass new Viper Boy. So she's got two Pokemon, obviously, because we go in all double battles today. Got a spider and a bayo pup. I do like the, uh, oh my god, look at Snake is huge now. Snake is an absolute unit these days. Jesus. Okay, we'll just attack the spider this time. We'll help out old Pixelily, who can just go for a fairy move on the bayo pup, and we should be good. Uh, so the thing's only level 25. Silverwind does just knock it right out. Snake is an absolute monster. If I ever end up killing this thing, I'm, I'm quitting this game forever, because this is my favorite Pokemon so far. All right, uh, we should probably switch this thing out though, because it is level 27, and we do need to get some love going the other way. Let's let's um, you know, let's actually put Biggles in front. I think maybe with fireworks we could probably be okay. We're not, we're probably going to be battling mostly dark types, and we actually what the fuck? Eclipo and a Scrabble. This isn't a new route, is it? This is when we went into this cave, nothing came up as, like an indication as a new route, um, but. Damn, do I really want to catch one of these things. I feel like, uh... Oh, man, this is kind of a bummer. I feel like I, I could probably catch one of these things, because it technically is a new cave. But then again, I mean, there's two of them also. Technically, for Nuzlocke, so we just decide to... You can choose which one you want to catch whenever there's two. But, I mean, let, fuck it. We're just going to... I would have to kill the Pixel Lily and everything. We're just going to not have an encounter for this cave... Fire is apparently not very effective against the old Eclipo goes for a sunny day. What the hell even is this thing? What do you like bulldoze? Silver wind is gonna do a lot. Super effective. And it has levitate. <laughs> of course. It's like an unknown looking kind of thing. It's like a damn mirror unknown. I don't know. Well, that was actually really interesting. We got ourselves a item here if we just pop on the old strength gloves. Push this bad boy over to the left. God, I'm sick and tired of having to mash A so many times. I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it does. <laughs> and some more wild Pokemon. Another Scrabble and an Eclipo. So the Scrabbles are really cool. I feel like that thing evolved. It's got to evolve into some crazy ass gem spider. Cloud Nine, huh? Okay, we're just going to run from that. And uh, we should probably just spray Repel because it seems like we're going to definitely see a lot of wild Pokemon. And we ain't got the time. So we're just going to push that one more time, and we got ourselves a revive. Damn it, all that work for an item I can't even use. I guess I could sell it for like 500 Poké Dollars, but that's annoying. And of course, we actually still run into stuff when you find something that's a higher level, uh, or at least at the same level as the Pokémon you're using. So since Biggles is level 23, we, uh, we are able to find things, which is annoying, but that's fine. We'll grow a level here pro pretty soon. What? Who said you could enter this cave? Nobody said, I mean, I didn't think I needed permission to enter your cave, sir. This guy's got two, he's got a Bulldox. And, okay, Bulldox is the evolved form of the Stotox, which is pretty cool. It kind of looks really the same, but still pretty sweet. Let's go for Fireworks, let's use it on the Venap. So the Venap is a Dark Poison type, I'm pretty sure. So it's really nice that we actually have Kira using her Fairy type here. Oh no, wait, Fire was super effective. Is Grass Dark? I don't fucking know, man. This thing's gonna set up some spikes. This is like the most ideal Pokemon to be using spikes. He is literally a spike. When you think about <laughs> anything that should be able to use that, it's this thing. Fireworks looks pretty damn cool. It doesn't <laughs> do anything, though. I should have gone for uh, Bulldoze. I just feel like if 
fireworks is just a cool move to use. Fell straight down. Okay, bulldoze is definitely what we're looking for here because I think this thing's just rock poison. So you ain't gonna like this bulldoze, buddy. And Biggles is actually really cool too. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the team has been looking lately. We've definitely, definitely gotten a little bit better. What did that hurt? Pixely too. What the hell? Get a thousand experience. Gonna go to level 25 there. There we go, Biggles. You're getting there, friend. You know what? Actually, since you're already level 25, we're just spreading the love around. Let's take that and let's actually give, let's give Dart the EXP share. Can't hurt. Also, I should probably give Biggles a hold item. I um. I have that ground gem, which I just noticed. That'll raise the power of Bulldoze, which I guess could be kind of nice. We have a ground gem, Expert Belt, Razor Claw could be kind of nice. I have Earth Plate as well, so same kind of thing. Could give it the safety goggles, but those are dumb. We have Soft Sand also. I have so many different ground move, ground boosting things. Jesus. Um, we'll just give it the ground gem. Oh wait, power of a ground type move only once. Okay, that's, a different, that's not exactly what I was thinking. Earth plate is what we're gonna give you. There you go, Biggles. Now your bulldoze is gonna do a little tiny bit more. Also, we grew a level, so now we don't have to worry about finding wild stuff. You can't head over to the next cave. I'll stop you two. I, for some reason, don't think you will, because I have a lady that has a fairy type, and you're just gonna come out with the dark types. Bail a pup and a venap, so yep, nothing too new. Both level 25. We're at a good point here to be kind of grinding up some new stuff, so this is perfect. Um, we're gonna use fireworks on the venap because it is super effective. Picks Lily Silver Winds, the Bail Pup, which does not get out. Yeah, we just flying through this. These uh, these evil people don't know who they're messing with. I've got a damn firework for a Pokemon. Impossible. No, nope, pretty possible. Okay, so we have another cave there. Random boulder that doesn't seem to do anything. And we found an iron right here, which is kind of nice. That boosts the defense EV of a selected Pokemon, although you could also just sell it for a bunch of money, which is cool. No, that boulder was blocking that area. You can't get through there, but that's fine. Okay. We got to be getting down to... Oh, shit, yep. It's, it's happening. We got a little cutscene going on. Commander Marcus, I got this Pokemon for you. It's a gift to you. And where'd you get that Pokemon from? Stole it from a little girl outside. It was easy picking. What? We're not here to steal Pokemon from little girls, you fool. <laughs> We're here to find the Chaos Crystal. The Chaos Crystal? Why do I even bother with you grunts? Let's go back. It's not here. I have to inform the leader, Derek. Derek? What a basic name to have the leader. Commander, we have company. These kids are trying to mess up our plans. And who are you kids? My name is Kira, and that's Hayden. We're here to get that Pokemon that one of your grunts stole from that little girl outside. Yep. Hand it over. Commander, the trainer is the one we met in Dolphin Forest. He was trying to get the Earth Stone. Is that right? Well, I have no time for this. Take care of them. Okay, so maybe we don't have to actually battle the boss. We just got to battle these people. Uh, they just got one Pokemon each, which is fine. You got a Vambat and a Bale Pup. So, yeah, nice nice and original. It's both level 25, so nothing too crazy. Um, we're going to use Fireworks on this thing because it is actually apparently super effective on flying types. Uh, but she fairy wins it, which knocks it out. Damn it, why wouldn't you attack the Bale Pup, lady? Teamwork, Kyra, Kira, Biggles is trying to learn Dig. Um, Bulldoze is in fact not as good. It reduces speed, but di so Dig is actually better, which is weird. But but Dig takes two turns. I think you know we have the TM for Bulldoze, so we'll just get rid of it for now. If we decide to get that back later, we can do that. But Dig is just it just takes two turns. Really not too big of a deal. This thing is gonna hone claws. That's fine. What an adorable little pup. So we get off our fireworks. And almost knocks it out in one hit. I guess I should have just got rid of Hone Claws. I mean, Hone Claws could be good to set up in the beginning of like gym battles or something, though. I don't know. But we defeated the Grunts. Spoiled. Little brats. We got a thousand dollars. Thank you. Useless. And how do you Grunts plan on living in our world? Where the strong will prosper if you lose to ignorant little kids. I guess I'll have to handle this myself. Okay, so we do have to battle. Freaking Marcus over here. He's got a little, some, a white frosted tip on his hair. Looking nice, buddy. All right, so he just has two Pokemon. He's got a Gravel and a Dracubat. Oh, Jesus. Look at that Gravel. What the hell? Where did you get that thing? And what is that thing? I feel like... No, I think we're probably okay here. Damn, level 30 Dracubat and level 28 Gravel. Um, hopefully they don't both target me let's go for a fireworks on the dracubat and we'll see oh shit uh oh super fang knocks you down to half 
And then the pig slowly does this. Oh, Jesus. Why, why are you doing that? Not very effective, boy. Okay, hopefully... Okay, that does over half to the Dracubat. This thing's going to ancient power. Oh, no. It does attack me. Oh, fucking titties. Well, that just tapped. The, the, the Super Fang, they just targeted me, man. How you... Biggles, no. Uh, that actually really bums me out. I was so excited about Biggles. And then, you know, I saw those levels and I was like, should I just switch out? I really should have. Fucking Biggles, man. The Super Fang and then the Focus Ancient Power on me. Like, why can't you attack the damn Pixie that's right there? You absolute dickheads. Well, looks like it's time to bring out the snake then, I suppose. Pix Lily doesn't have much help here. Oh, we're just going to use Lightning Strike to take out the Dracubat. Damn it, man! Every time stump stuff's going good for me, I have to kill something. Every time. Why am I like this? The world may never know. We got our level 28 with Snake, which is nice. Dart's trying to learn Mirror Shot. I mean, at least we have Dart now. But, dude, I just... That Firework Boy was fucking sweet. Mirror Shot uh, loses, loses a flash of energy from its polished body. May also lower the target's accuracy. So, we kind of saw that's a decent steal move. Um, are we more physically offensive or, or best or special? Shit, I don't even know. Should I get rid of Metal Claw? Uh, let's get rid of Iron Defense. We ain't going to use Iron Defense. It's because I'm not sure about this thing. Okay, Fairy Wind's going to do nothing to this damn gravel. Freaking Ancient Powder. Why, why are you focusing me, sir? What did I do to you, you angry little rock fuck? <laughs> uh, yep so i mean we didn't lose the pokemon last episode so i was due for one this time i was i mean i really should have grinded up before i got into a boss battle i didn't know this was gonna freaking happen give them that pokemon back they wanted it they came from came and took it that's how the world will be in due time most well get used to it seems our time here was pointless the chaos crystal isn't here even if it was once it's not the case anymore we need to do more research. If we want to find it, you two stay out of our business. If you know what's good for you, you will. So they do leave a Pokeball behind. What on earth? These guys are weird. What are they talking about? A world of chaos. Hmm. Anyway, thank you for your help, Hayden. Let's get that Pokemon back to that little girl. She's going to be so relieved. But before that, let me heal your Pokemon. Okay, so she is going to heal us up, but Biggles is dead as hell. And I am an absolute monster for doing that. Take that girl's Pokeball back. Uh, this is, that's what it is. It's the Pokemon. Well... Got ourselves the old stolen Pokeball. And we definitely have to switch our dead-ass Biggles out of the front. So, sorry about that, buddy. That was definitely my bad. Really should not have left you in there, friend. Had no idea what was going to happen to you, but I should have known. So, uh... One thing I've come to realize about this Nuzlocke is... That shit's going to happen a lot. I feel like... <laughs> especially just because this is just all new Pokemon and everything. I'm not gonna know what the hell is going on and just kill everything in sight. It's okay, we at least got the stolen Pokeball back. What's up? Why did I have to do it? Why are you leaving me, Kira? Come down, we're waiting for you. I'm here. Said you have found my Pokemon, have you? Gives the Pokeball back to the girl. Thank you so much, you two. No problem, can't believe you got it back. When I saw those thieves running out of the cave, I knew you had beaten them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please take this, I found it while I was waiting for you to come back. Obtained five friend balls, nice. So that just increases the friendship of the Pokemon you catch in it. But it's no problem, actually kind of fun and exciting to battle with Hayden. You sure are strong. Thank you again. Now you can leave this place. I hope we don't run into them again. Bye. Random ass girl. Okay. So, uh, wonder what Team Lunar is up to. Oh, you battled him in Dolphin Forest? The Earth Temple. Weird. I wonder what Professor Pinewood would have to say about this. He might know. I'll head to Orshore Town to call him at the Pokemon Center and tell him. Orshore Town is the next town you reach after traveling through Fall Rock Valley. Go find Bert, the Pokeball maker. Freaking finally, man. We've been collecting acorns like nobody's business. So, all right. I guess before we continue, um, we're going to need to... Oh, damn it. I accidentally hit yes every time. Okay, let's just run back to the Poke Center because we do need to do some burials. And, uh, oh, you can actually find these freaking things in the wild here. The old Dynaballs. That's cool. I'm afraid those things are going to explode on me every time. Just please don't use explosion. So yeah, we need to go bury our dead friend, which was one of my one of my favorite Pokemon on the team. But of course, everything I touch dies, and that makes me sad. But at least Snake is still alive. That's one that's one happy part about this episode, I suppose. But damn it, man. 
I'm pissed. Okay, at least we can, I guess, grab Charlotte back for now because we need to grab something. We have all the, I mean, I also have this egg I should probably hatch at some point. We also have freaking Pebble, who's just a rock, unaware. Um, we're just going to grab Charlotte because you're already level 26, so I guess you're decent. And we'll switch you for this thing. It still has the earth plate on it, but heck it, I'm too lazy to grab that. Although, yeah, we're going to stick in the death box. I can actually just grab your item from here. Okay. So these are all my dead friends. Look at all of our fallen soldiers. You really hate to see it. I guess we're going to leave our Dracubat in front. And let's continue. The freaking Sandstorm is back. It is going to be nice to get out of this town and never freaking come back. Sandstorm, for some reason, I just hate it. But okay. So I guess we're headed to... A new city, and that should be fun. So, guys, we're going to end the episode here. I'm sorry I killed our cool firework thing. Found a great ball. Thanks, Dracula. But, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.